You're here because you got a GoPro expecting to see this. But instead, you got this. Oh! Somebody! Oh! He needs God. some milk! What's good, everybody? Welcome to Photo No Production. And today, I'm gonna be showing you two things that could improve your video quality coming out of your GoPro. The first thing I'm gonna be showing you is my video settings on my GoPro. However, it does not end there. I'm also gonna be showing you under five minutes some post-production that could literally improve your video quality of the gopro to make it look just like it is advertised let's get into it guys right, guys these are the best video settings on any gopro that will work on any freaking gopro okay i'm not here to explain to you because you've probably watched a thousand videos explaining to you why things are the way they are i'm just gonna tell you what i use and what works and i'll show you in post-production why i use what i use so i shoot at 1080p 60 frames 60 frames for the simple fact that i like to slow down my footage you can shoot at 120 it still gives you some stabilization i like to shoot at 60 because it's hyper smooth and i do not need a stabilizer fov you can shoot at wide wide the only problem with white it will give you a fish eye look i don't like fish eye. i just want a flat plain clip so you put, put it on linear okay stabilization is on auto patron is on on shutter speed is on auto ev that's exposure okay gopros come with too much exposure and because the camera is not so great, the picture just looks 10 times terrible. So you want this at negative 1.5, okay? 1.5, doesn't matter. Day or night, just leave it at 1.5. White balance, depending on if you want good, more saturation, you can leave this at 50 high, 5,500 Kelvin. I leave it at 5,000 Kelvin. If you're on the GoPro Hero 9, I hear 5,500 Kelvin is fucking awesome. So do that. I literally use 5,000 Kelvin and that's where it's at. Minimum ISO, I leave it at 400, maximum 3,200. Sharpness, medium. This, when a video is too sharp, it just looks fake. It does not look great. You can put, if you are good at editing, you can take the sharpness to low and sharpen it yourself in, in production. However, if you're someone who's not good at editing, leave it on medium. Don't leave it at high. It's just too sharp and it just doesn't look flattering. Now we're gonna look at the color. If you are going in the water, if you're going in water, get change this to GoPro coloring, okay? Because it just doesn't look good without GoPro colors. I leave mine at flat because I'm a good editor and, I, and I'm gonna show you an easy way on how we can put fluttering colors onto this video. So keep it on flat. Unless you're going in the water, change this to the GoPro. Otherwise, leave it on flat. Raw, raw audio, I put it on high. So what this does is it will give you the opportunity to give you an extra audio file in which you can tweak. Do I tweak it? Hell no, I don't tweak it. It's just, I put it on high to get the best out of the audio coming from here, okay? And then as for the mix, I put it on auto and that's pretty much it, okay? Those, those are the video settings that you need. Now, let me go into post-production and I'm gonna show you the magic. This is where all the magic is in less than a minute you're gonna get the best video quality that they keep advertising in those freaking ads, okay? Let's get it. All right, guys, what I showed you in part one were the best settings on any GoPro. However, please do not leave it there, okay? Because you're gonna find yourself frustrated after doing that tutorial and still getting shitty quality, and then you're gonna sell your GoPro saying, it just doesn't work. Guys, the GoPro is great. However, you just have to do one extra step to get the best picture quality. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you my screen right now. I'm using DaVinci Resolve. You can use Final Cut Pro, you can use Adobe Premiere. It doesn't matter what software you're using. Just find a software that has S-curves. Guys, if you can have an S-curve, for those who don't know what an S-curve is, I'm gonna show you what an S-curve is. Just search it up, S-curves, okay? So I'm using DaVinci Resolve. For those DaVinci Resolve users, the S-curve has been given to us right there. I don't know how Adobe Premiere works and I don't know how Final Cut works, but I think you have to search it up. So peep this, watch this. So, I'm gonna create my timeline right here. All right, guys, so look at this. So this will be, okay. Now watch this, guys. These settings right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna come out. All right, right there. So we're gonna cut that, boom. We're gonna cut that right there, boom. We don't need that. This is all rubbish, okay? All right, so this is what we're gonna use. This is our plate right here, look at this. So right there, so we're gonna come right there, okay? Look at that, these are the best video settings, guys. This is not good, this is bad, okay? Despite me tweaking the, the device, 
This is what I get. However, watch this. So if you're a DaVinci Resolve user, go to your color setting. I don't know what Final Cut looks like. I don't know what Adobe Premiere looks like. However, just find your curves. So right there in DaVinci, we have our curves, okay? You click right there. This is the curve. This is a curve section. Watch this, guys. Magic. Look at this. Right here. Magic. Look at that. Look at how I cancel out all that noise. Right there. Boom. We're going to make an, an S right there. Look at that, guys. Magic right there. Look at that. Boom. Just like that. Look at that, guys. Boom. Look at the difference, guys. Mad look at how, look at the lamp. Look at the lamp. All that noise out. Guys, this is all you need to get that picture quality that you see on those GoPro advertisements. This is all you need to do. It took less than one minute. You just have to find the curves. I promise you it will work, guys. Always add the S-curve to this, okay? Now, however, because it's me, I'm going to take it up a notch. Right now, you can just go, deliver, MP4, boom, out. That's it. The clip is done, guys. Now, watch this. I want it to look a little bit more cinematic. I want it to look a little bit better, okay? So we can make this better. So we're taking it up a notch. Right now, if you, if you don't want to do too much, that's all you have to do and the video is ready to go. However, because it's me, okay? We're going to change the quality here and just add just a little bit more color and make it look good, okay? So I'm just going to add just a little bit right there of temperature, okay? Boom. Tint. I don't like the yellow background. I don't like yellow background, so I always go to the purples, okay? So I tint it purple. Right there. Look at that. Boom. Look at that, guys. Boom. Look at that. Pretty. Okay. This is beautiful. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at the difference. This is beautiful. Right here. Beautiful. Okay. We're still going to take it up a notch because we have LUTs. I love using LUTs. Okay. So I usually get my LUTs from freelats.com. For those wondering, I'll leave it in the description below. Okay, right there, I want to see, okay, that looks good, so we'll come back to Cohen, Cohen, that looks good, let's see that, okay, there's a little bit of saturation there, black heart, okay, looks pretty decent, Chinatown, okay, Chinatown seems decent as well. Okay, so Cohen, maybe. All right, let's go with Cohen. Boom. We're going to throw Cohen right there, okay? I'm going to remove the yellow out of that shot, okay? I'm going to remove the yellow. So we're going to remove the yellow out of that table right there. It's too much yellow. It was oversaturated. We're going to make the floor just a little bit purple. And we're going to add some color to that picture. Boom. All right, there you go. Look at that, guys. Look at that. This looks 100 times better than that. And that's it, guys. That's all you have to do. This took less than two minutes. Even if I was stepping it up a notch, this took less than two minutes to do. Guys, listen to me. The GoPro is great. You just have to take one extra step to make the coloring better. Unfortunately, you we have to do that, okay? So let me know if this tutorial was very useful to you. Guys, before you leave, I would appreciate it if you liked, comment, and subscribed to my channel. Okay, you got if you want to send me your clips so I can edit them for you so that I can show you the process I'll, I'm gonna leave my Gmail so you can link them to my to my uh, Google Drive and you can send them to me And I can do more tutorials like this. Okay, it doesn't just have to stay with a GoPro if you guys want to know anything about editing or color grading or What the best camera settings for the Sony a7r just leave them in the comment section So guys without further ado before I leave you please let me know if this tutorial was very useful to you or very helpful to you. And guys, without further ado, I shall see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Peace.